Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and you resonate please you know you know go ahead and share it'll be greatly appreciated and the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey okas you're in, you are manifesting a version of yourself you've never seen possible congratulate yourself on every level of uh every level you're surpassing and it's true you know a lot of times we don't give ourselves uh the credit where credit is due you know because a lot of times we feel like it has to be a you know big fiasco or whatever you know it gotta be big but it's just the fact is when you you know even if you're a person matter of fact i was doing a video about that the other day you don't know how many devils and and legions you're slaying just by making that little change of 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 uh you know, you shift in your perspective. You know, you're getting out of bed. If you're that type of person where I know a lot of us um, are not working right now. A lot of, you know, a lot of different people that, are, you know, that are in a situation like me, you're not working right now. So maybe you, you're going through um, a huge, uh, a huge, um, let me go ahead and not pause it, but mute that because that is a, uh, what is it? Um, an advertisement. You ain't about to get me on copyright. <laughs> it was like, but uh, yeah, you're going through different things where you may be very depressed, you know, and in, in life, and you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. You don't want to brush your teeth. You don't wash your hair. You don't do anything like that. You just want to stay in bed and sulk all day, probably Netflix and chill 24/7, 365. But when you allow yourself to get up in the morning, just being able to say, you know what, even if it's just a little thing, where maybe. I get up and make my bed up in the morning and instead of me sitting in the bed all day I can sit in front of, you know sit on the couch or sit in the chair you don't know how much of courage that took for you to do that because it's like when you have so many different things is riding against you a lot of times we seek in depression where we allow that to be whether I do something or I don't do something not knowing in between that vibration of you know uh, just staying like that and just being like that there was just like why don't you give yourself the chance to just do something you know get out of bed you know go go you know just go outside and sit out you know, just to get you, you, you know, some vitamin D in your, in, your, in your system. You know, just to be able to hear the birds and stuff like that. You don't know how much of a courage that was just for you to surpass the, who you were yesterday or the day before. You could have been in the room just crying up a storm. Sit up here eating chocolate chip, you know, cookie dough or, or, or mint cookie dough ice cream or something like that hog and dogs you know blue ribbon whatever they want to call it, blue bunny or whatever it is you know you could have really been in that vibration and they're telling you you just don't know how much courage that is just for you to do that and that's a big thing and you know no matter if somebody tell you like girl you just got out of bed they ain't something that you know that's something that you know do or whatever they ain't something special but it is and it's like, don't sit up here and listen to people like that because they were probably the ones who sit up here hoping you never get up out of bed. You know, hopefully you croak there. You know, and those are the, those are the things you, you are manifesting something. That's why I always tell you, be easy on yourself. Stop trying to, you know, be so focused on, oh, I should have been past this today or oh, I should have been a little bit further than that today. You have to understand it takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. You can't build a bridge and then you'll be safely ready to ride over that mess in a day. If somebody can build up a bridge from, you know, for you to get across the street to all the way over here. And it's like a, a whole, you know, like probably a five mile stretch. And you, if somebody build that over in a day, you're going to feel safe with you and your kids in the car or even yourself. And this is over a, a you know, uh, 14,000 foot, you know, ocean. Are you going to be able to no. mm -mm. <laughs> You ain't about to do that. And so, so what makes you think you're going to be able to be the point, point A, the point Z already within one hour or within one day or within one week? That takes time for you to be able to do that. I've been in that, that vibration where I sat and I ate and I sat and I cried and I ate. I've even seen enemies just mocking me, laughing at me. And I'm sitting up here, maybe they're right. 
I don't have what it takes. Maybe this and this and that. And it got to my point where I'm not going to be sitting up here worried about who mocking me. I'm not going to worry about who's poking fun at me or what they feel like they got this and this and this and that. It's at my point on how I make change fit for me. How I make change fit for, you know, the father upstairs. My uniform, you know, my enforcements of in a higher realm. Those are the ones that I want to be able to say, look, I'm doing it. But they already see what I'm doing. You know, you always got, you know, you got that devil on one side and the angel on the other. And I just don't dust that one off and keep the other one, you know, like, hey, thanks, you know, whatever, you know. And these are the things because you have something very powerful in you that that enemy don't want you to discover. And even if you were to take one step today, like I said, you can get out your pajamas today and actually put on some jogging pants, whatever the weather permits you, wherever you're at, you know, because I know some places it's still kind of cold and some places like right here, it's like, what is it, 75 here in, in Georgia, you know, 77 earlier, but you're going through different things to where you're actually putting on clothes, you know, it's like this morning, I was sitting up here, you know, um, adding on two more different things that I usually don't do because I, I went outside my room routine and did something totally different and I was proud of myself because I did that and this is like my best friend's birthday and her anniversary was the day after my dad's birth uh anniversary like about what a week and a half ago two weeks ago and it just so happened what was my girl Christina uh, Valgas this up here said something about Sybil and me and her used to always joke about that because my oldest daughter when she was little she always used to call her grandmother Sybil and then I was like she used to always bust out laughing like Roz why does why is Tiana always call your mama Sybil? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. But it was like, you know, my daughter a little empath at that time. She's scared of mess now. But it, it would be funny. And I knew when I seen that today, and she was like, Rosalind, call me Sybil. And I knew that was Yolanda, my mom, putting that today. Because she knew it was kind of like a somber day. You know, I was like, Dad, this is my girl's birthday. Her day, and you know, her birthday is like 18 days ahead of mine. And, you know, I was missing her and just so happened that came out today and made me bust out laughing. So I'm like, thanks, Christina, if you're watching this video. But it was just something out of that norm. You know, it was just like even on my, you know, um, on my dad's anniversary on the 21st, you know, I, you know, I was angry, you know. And then it was just like, you know, hearing my dad and then it was, you know, it's hard because it's like my best friend and her my best friend and my dad's you know anniversary is like back to back to back and I'm just like you know I'm, I, I can't win for losing and it's just like just because life was denied to me don't mean that you know you I want you to take that breath for me you know and it's you know when you have gone through life where you you miss loved ones there will be days that you know some people can act like nothing don't phase them they may be you know they may be okay they may be able to deal with grief differently you know everybody and I always tell people you know some people get mad at them because they may be still grieving over their parents or you know or a daughter or a son or a wife or a husband 30 40 years from now you know and I always tell people nobody has that right to tell you how to grieve nobody tells you has that right to tell you how to heal you know grief doesn't have an expiration date to it you know, so you do what you best, you know, what you can do best to move forward, not saying move on, but move forward. Because, you know, I always tell people it, it you don't get over it, but you get used to it physically not having them there. But they're always spiritually there. You know, they're always spiritually there. Anytime you think of a certain song or, you know, uh, or a certain memory comes up, that's them showing you live on for me. I'm still here with you. You know, I'm your one of your guides, you know, and those are the things that showing you you're progressing. And, you know, and that was just a little thing for me, you know, because I cried tears of joy, you know, and it was already hard because it was just like certain things that universe wanted me to talk about, you know, especially when it comes to narcissistic things. And it's kind of hard to talk about that, especially if you're, you're just, you know, still, you know, healing from that, even though you're over that hump, you know, it's just like, ugh. but then it was just like, you never know, you know, it, it's okay to talk about that. You know, if you're not taking this personal, you're not trying to spotlight anyone that you're talking about, it's okay, you know. So it's just like how you deal with it is how you deal with it. But you're allowing yourself to heal. So give yourself credit where credit's due. You know, that's why I tell people no matter how small it is that you create change in your life, that you don't know how matter how small it is, pretty soon when you start getting the habit of changing different things in your life matter, it, even if it's once every two or three days that you're changing a routine in your life, sometime down the line when you keep making a habit of that, that's a good habit that you're creating. 
and you're allowing yourself to see that change that's coming in. And then when you allow that change to come in and you're seeing that change, you start feeling good about that change. Your perspective about whatever you're going through starts to change. You know, because a lot of times we can feel we have a dead set. Oh, because I'm not where I want to be right now. It's not changing. You don't know. If you're looking at all the wrong things, you're never going to see change take place. But when you start seeing that change take place, that's when things are really starting to change. You'll see that universe is making moves for you. You know, because then you aren't allowing yourself to resist that challenge. You aren't allowing yourself to resist or go against change that's taking place. You'll start seeing certain things and certain entities that are attached to you all of a sudden start dissolving. It starts getting real quiet. You're starting to get people that are encouraging you. They're seeing the good in you. You're, there's, you're helping them see the good within themselves. That's when you know change is starting to really take place. Even things that really hurt you deep. Whether you got an apology or not, you're allowing yourself to make peace with that. That is a big change within you. Because a lot of times people stay stuck in that situation because they're waiting for closure. Even though that disrespect, that hurt and pain, that was closure. You know, that was telling you, hey, I, I'm going to get that sorry I never got and still move on because I deserve better than that in my life. I deserve to be in a better place regardless if it has to do with a situation or something I felt like was a missed opportunity or, you know, a person out the, I, you know, I had high regards for it and end up being disappointed. It's okay. Because there's something out there better that is waiting for you to, you know, to let that take its place. You know, and these are those different things where they're telling you, be you know, be congratulating yourself, you know, even keep a goal sheet if you need to, or even throughout the week, you sit up here, like if you see what's the things that make you happy and the routine, uh, and the routines that you can tend to keep, you know, cause if you're not in a good place right now, what is your routine on what you're doing to not keep you happy? Even if there's something that really just got got on your nerves or really just ticked you off, either about something that happened or something that was out of your control or something somebody did, and then it was like you allowed yourself to do something positive after that negative experience or that negative moment, you know how much that took for you to do that, especially if you're the type of person to be stuck on stuck on tragedy. You allow that to affect your day all day. I used to be that type of person. Something can make me mad and I'm allowing the devil over here just tickled deep. Okay, tickled in a pickle. Okay, just happy. Because that one little thing changed my whole day. I allowed that to change my whole day. If I say, you know, it's out of my, my control, it need to be out of my mind. Let me find something else I need to do. And then that's what I was doing. I was allowing myself to do that. So when you're allowing yourself to let change take place into your life for the better, congratulate yourself. It took a lot of courage to become who you are because you are nowhere near the person that started off with that. You know, nowhere near to start started off with that because it's just like all of a sudden you start seeing things like even if it was people that that claim to be your friend or family or you know somebody who really cared about your well-being they really didn't they were just monitoring to see what they can sabotage or, uh, or monitoring whatever you had the courage to do trying to discourage you not to do it you know and all of a sudden they start dropping out your life then it can be lonely it's okay would you it's like you know sometimes you can be browsing on by myself and this and i used to be that way i felt like i always had to have somebody in my life because i was going through so much in my life that I felt like I needed somebody there when I had so much spiritual enforcements that was showing me right there you need to become your own best friend because a lot of times you tagging along with something else and it's not saying that the people that you were attracting was the wrong people but they, they're already going through their own thing as too but you can't count on them to be there you can count on yourself you can count on your spirit guys you can count on God you can count on your higher self they're gonna be there not gonna leave you because they even tell you can't sit up here and put all your emphasis on people because sooner or later even your shadow leaves when the sun come up okay it, it was like well the night come down you know what i'm saying but these are the different things that are telling you you know and i had to be at that point where because it was just like you know i wasn't able to keep friends too long into my life it would be close connection but not realizing there was a lesson learned between me and these individuals because there would be so many people like ross and i know you from somewhere we were connected already it, we were just in a different state of mind from last time there was an unfinished business that we had and then when that lesson was learned between those two people they branched off and started doing their own thing and it came to that point where it happened so much it, it I was just like I was repelled from wanting anybody close to me but then it had to be 
Rosalind, it is not the fact that you, when we bring people in your life, it's not a guarantee they're going to stay there. But when they're doing that, they're bringing lessons to y'all are bringing lessons towards each other. Y'all really needed to learn so you can know where to heal at. If something was triggering in between you two or in between you three, you know, wherever it's at, it was showing you where that, 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 that job of healing needed to take place at. It spotlighted something that needed to come to the surface so you can be able to fix it. So these different things are coming on to where you have to understand, even when you're by yourself, you're manifesting something that ain't came in yet or it's on its way to you. But then you'll start noticing, like, when you start set up here bringing toxic people in your life, that means that toxicity is starting to... You're repelling that. It, it doesn't come to you like it used to. Even if something is not going your way that day, it's not staying in your head like it was before. That's allowing you to know, you see how much change is taking place? Where you already know something that you don't like is taking place in your life. But then you notice that you start allowing yourself. You didn't allow that to stop you from moving forward. You didn't allow that to stop you from doing something positive in your day for the day. So that's telling you, congratulate yourself. You show yourself those flowers because it took a lot to get there. There are some people, it's hard for them to do that. That's why I tell people, especially if you're that person... That you are, um, that you are mad at depressive. You know, you you it, it it don't take much to key you off to get in that dark moment. And especially with us empaths, we hold that heavy. You know, and when you can allow yourself to get there and say, "This too shall pass." I've been through worse. You know, I've, I've overcome things that a lot of people would have ran from. A lot of times, you got to be able to tell yourself that. You know, if this person left my life, that, you know, I should not take this personal. You know, that if that person got triggered off and left you for a reason, there's something that unhinged them that they, they may have seen in you they didn't see in themselves. And they actually have it because we're mirroring each other. You know, we actually have that. But it takes for you to have to be wanting to see that. Because if we always stay, you know, focused on what somebody has in their life and we don't, you know, we'll be in, in a miserable place. You know, and that's that time where I tell people when we mind our own business and stop dealing with other people, we'll be such a better world. We'll be such a better world because it's like we all have a, a gift. We all have some kind of hidden potential. We all have a powerful light, but it takes you to have to see that. You know, when we can put our emphasis and our heart and our energy on trying to manipulate, trying to be deceptive, trying to be robbing somebody, trying to block different things for other people, we, we don't realize that's blocking our own blessings. God does not bless mess. Don't feel like you pushing out something bad, bad about somebody going to make you look good. You know, and I had to be able to be my own person. I had to practice what I preach. I have a lot of things that's going on in my life where people have done things. But at that point, I had to let that go and let God deal with that. Because eventually when you do something in the dark, it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna show out itself. People get comfortable and that's when they slip up. And that's when you have to be able to allow yourself to just do you. If somebody has done some stuff to you, just continue to do you. You pray for your enemies. You pray for the people that is going hard on trying to make sure you don't have that come up. That's okay. But when you know you're staying focused and worrying about you and yours and how you're going to come to create better in your life, that's when better starts taking place. Don't be worried about what other people are trying to place in your life that's trying to put you in that cement. That's okay. Because it's just like you don't realize even when they're doing that, that's helping you out. You don't know, we, we, a lot of times, it took me a long time to realize that you don't realize when people are doing that to you, it's speeding up your process of healing. Because some kind of stagnant energy is going to get to that point where if you know you're tired of being tired, you're going to start putting in that work to understand, how can I get unstuck? How can I get out of this vibration of dread, depression, sadness, anger, jealousy, you know, feeling like I have to be vengeful towards everybody who's being vengeful towards me? You know, and then when you start seeing that light, you'll start uncovering a whole new different perspective that, you know, the devil was hoping that your butt never found. So when you are allowing yourself to make positive power moves in yourself, you congratulate yourself. You really congratulate yourself. Even if it's something not not to be funny. But even when your solar plexus is backed up, stacked up. Where you know it's time. You know because we don't realize when we start holding on to uh, anger and stuff like that. It messes up our stomach. <laughs> you know it really messes up our stomach. And when you know that you start releasing a lot. Your, your solar plexus become unhinged. 
you know, and sometimes a little bit <laughs> too unhinged. But then when you do that, you're on market A. There must be some changes coming out because I, I ain't, you know, I'm able to go to the bathroom every day. You know, and that's something they're telling you. You're going to have to congratulate yourself on your little, have your little, congratulate yourself on them tiny victories is that, you know, Christina Perry say. You know, when you know where, where she, how she say is the war, um, uh, the war ain't over. It was something about the war ain't over. I can still pick my sword up. And when I hear that song. When I tell you it just uplifts me and my spirits in a way. And there's sometimes I get emotional about that. Because you you know if, even if that war is not that war is not over. You can still pick your short sword up and fight again. You know your battle is not with your enemies. Your battle is not with people out in the street. The battle is with your old self. Because when you start healing that enemy on the inside. And you start allowing yourself to have love in your heart for yourself. And that mess is strong. Nobody, they, Anybody can call you out of your name. Call you every name except the child of God and the name mama gave you. You know. And it's not going to move mountains for you. You're not going to worry about that because it's like I don't embrace that. I know who I am. I'm a king. I'm a queen. I'm a goddess. I'm a god. You know, I live my my life in uh in in positivity, prosperity, abundance, peace, compassion. You know, uh, you know all that. Whatever it is is based on positivity. Somebody can say something out there in the street to you, and it can come back, and you can, oh, okay. So what are you telling me? You know what am I supposed to do? You ain't gonna say nothing for what? I don't identify with that. When I start fighting with it, there's some kind of truth that I'm allowing that devil to sit up here and make that true about me. Okay. When an enemy come out and try to trigger you, you have to understand. Any any person that comes out their way to trigger you, just your change of positivity is triggering them. They wouldn't be doing that if it's not affecting them in some kind of way where it wants to affect you. And when it does do that, you pray for that person. Because that person is fighting a war that you do not have nothing, you, you have no clue about. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Lauren Brandon. Sandy Noel and Alex St. Anger, much love to you. And uh, Christina Valdez, much love to you as well. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to y'all. And I would um, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Give you a deeper uh, understanding about your path of purpose. Um, even if you want to share different things with me that you may be going through, that you may be facing, and you're really trying to understand it, you know, I try my best to be able to do that. You know, be able to make some kind of line of understanding, you know, in our, our moments of confusion. Whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, I try my best to be able to help out where I can. And I leave my, my link to my podcast as well on Spotify. Um, it's like different videos that I do. You know, I, I'm supposed to be uh, changing different uh, content on there that I'm guided to do as well. So I'll be doing that. And if you ever feel generous enough, you know, I do leave my um, cash app unless you want to drop a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I send so much beautiful uh, vibrations of positivity and abundance and prosperity to you know overflow in your joy of you know you know whatever God has for you and it can expand that um, allow yourself to stay persistent and consistent with everything that you're doing never get complacent in different things or never allow hardships or how slow is unveiling for you for you to stop you know th these are the things that's going to you know really impact you in a big way so go ahead and keep going so you know I hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at every single thing you do even through the moments of uh, what is it uh, uh, social media distance <laughs> then go ahead and give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things it really takes somebody a long way and you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace